All right, welcome everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are in the world. Welcome to the beautiful Jerringon Golf Club on the south coast of New South Wales. We get things underway on the par four first with a nice hook into the trees on the left. Anyway. Even though we have all that room on the right. Now we've got ourselves in a spot of bother here. Luckily I'm able to punch out underneath that bush in front and get it somewhere down the fairway for a decent look at chipping onto the green. Didn't hit a bad chip there. Got a great look at par and misread that completely and it slides by. Tap in for bogey and we move to the second hole. It's the uphill par three, 146 metres. Hit a great shot here. It's all over the flag, so very happy with that. Great look at birdie. And another one. Another part just slides by. But we tap in for par and we move on. On to the third hole now. It's a dog leg left to right, goes around the corner and up the hill. Nice little tee shot there. Should be able to find the fairway with that one. Looking directly into the sun now for the approach into the green. I hit this one well, it does come out a bit low. But I can't see a thing looking into that sun, so we get up there and I've realised I've gone way too far. So chipping back down the hill now. Not a bad chip, just didn't run out as far as I thought it would have. So we've got a reasonable length putt for par. And we leave that one out to the right. So tapping in for bogey. And we're two over, standing on the fourth tee. Nice drive here. All you need to find the fairway. How good is the location? I mean, what a tee box. The beach is right there. Beautiful morning, sunrise. Now just hitting three wood up the fairway somewhere. Getting ready for our approach into the green. Just caught the rough here, but the lie is very good. No complaints. And put a good swing on that one. And it's up there on the green somewhere. Long downhill putt. Left this one way short. Hard to tell on the camera angle. It's a good eight foot. We finally hold one of those putts we've had all morning so far. We take a par and move on. On to the fifth. It's a shortish par four uphill, but it is quite severely uphill, so it plays longer than the yardage suggests. Nice drive there up the right side of the fairway. Hitting a wedge in to the green here. Off the club it felt great. I thought this is an absolute gem. But it did land short in this horrible little bunker collar. Hack it out. Doesn't even get on the green. Got this left for par. Terrible putt. It's hard to tell on the camera angle. It's uh, still very, very much so uphill. Thankfully, that one drops again. So that's two putts in a row of that distance we've made. We get out of there with a bogey. It could have been a double. Thankfully, it wasn't. Now, this tee box is the highest point on the golf course. Gives you a great view, as you can see, out over the farmland and the ocean on the right. Uh, probably looks like I've hooked that, but that is the fairway we're aiming for down there. It's a longish par 5, or actually it's not that long at 450. 
but uh get down there the, the green is actually over those water hazards on the right but the safe play is just to hit it up the left up the 12th fairway i think that one is that's where i've aimed that one and just got a little lob wedge onto this green hit a great little wedge shot there sets up a great look for birdie oh the horseshoe the lip out the pain and the agony i'm not very happy with that but that's golf we move on three over on the seventh tee hit that well and we just lose it out to the right and as you can see the fairway slopes left to right so you really want to hit a draw probably into the side of that fairway but we've got a blind tee shot now over some bushes and shrubs thankfully uh, no damage done struck that nicely got a downhill putt for birdie not a bad one tap in for par let's carry on to the eighth nice little par three this one 102 meters got a pitching wedge and i put a pathetic swing on it don't know why i why i was thinking in my head i just need to make good contact and punch this down there i've left that way well short. short not happy as you can see we we'll chip this one up try and get it close and get out of here with a par can't make them all especially the ones you leave short four over standing on a ninth tee another shortish par four but it plays quite a fair way uphill we get a good drive away just up the right side again we're in good position for a sand wedge onto this green still playing uphill hit it well once again as you'll see it's way short what am i doing so i'll take a sandwich here and try and play like a low little check chip uh it didn't check as i would have liked and a lengthy putt for par slides by so we'll tap this in and we'll be five over after nine holes it's beautiful Gerringong Golf Club once again. Hope you're enjoying all the vlogs I've been putting out. Tenth tee. It's a bit of an interesting hole, this one. The green complex is actually way over on the right, uh, almost near the roof of the clubhouse. You can see on the right there, it just... Fairway goes down and just turns... I mean, backwards on itself almost. So I hit a rescue and didn't quite hit all of it probably should have hit a three wood really but uh, thankfully i was able to chip this one down and onto the green and roll the putt up there and tap that one in for par par 5 11th not long 425 meters got plenty of room left out of bounds all the way down the right and a well-struck drive here if you can get a good run away it'll run a fair way down the hill as you'll see in a second so i think from memory i've got about 170 in i'm hitting a five iron but the green uh, is well protected there by that big water hazard and it's quite a hard shot it's off a down slope but it's quite severe but thankfully i hit that one well got it on the right side of the green and this is our putt for eagle it's all downhill and it just slides by would have been nice to make the eagle but any day you can tap in for a birdie is a good one in my books we carry on to the 12th par four nice drive there just up the right side caught the rough but as you can see the the rough's quite short a few wispy bits of grass playing uphill to the green hit it okay but uh, it's uh, well short and i'm putting up a tier 
all uphill for birdie and left that one short and look at par now and we missed that one and it's a three putt something i absolutely despise and hate every round that i play if i three putt absolutely can't stand it anyway we shake it off on the 13th now at five over similar hole to what we played early on in the round the dog leg left to right and i just missed the fairway there and it's in some heavy kikua grass it's quite thick and i got that a bit heavy and a bit chunky and just didn't come out right and left it well short so i'll chip onto the green here couldn't see the bottom of the flag but i think i hit it nice and get up there and it's a couple of feet little downhill putt just sneaks in the right edge and very happy to get away with the par there as the flag flutters in the background quite a windy morning uh, now it did tee off just after sunrise but the wind does get up here right on the coast and 169 meter par 3 14th it's hitting a rescue and left it out to the right it is the side to miss on but you do have to be careful with out of bounds all the way down the right hand side of this hole and rather than chip that i decided to putt it down the hill bit of work here to clean up for par and thankfully we hold a nice little right to left putt there and uh, move on five over on 15. Nicely struck drive. It's up there somewhere. Let's get up there and uh, hit our approach into the green. You can just see the flag over the left hand side of the bush there. Hit a nice shot here. But it's it's come up short unfortunately. I don't know what's going on with my iron distances today, but this is in some of the thickest rough on the course as you can see. I'm really just standing over that thinking, get it out, get it on the green somewhere. Thankfully it just gets on the green. But we're unable to make the par putt. We take another bogey there. Three holes to play. 378 metre par four, quite a lengthy par four this one. Fairway sloping left to right down the hill. As you, as you can see with Jerngong Golf Club, it's uh, it's a link style golf course right on the coast. And uh, it is quite open, but it is quite hilly. Lots of side hill slopes and up and downhill slopes. But it's a, it's a really great course and, and one uh, I recommend anyone come and play if they're in this part of the world very underrated not a lot of people know about it which is very surprising so you can see there tidy up we get a par out of that hole two to play par five shortest par five i'm just thinking here just make good contact get it up there anywhere will do you can see i've hit the fairway there the ninth fairway is up on the right there. You can miss to the right, you can miss to the left. But with the hilly nature of the course, this shot goes a bit left. For me, the ball was above my feet, so probably should have should have allowed for that. Thinking, oh, let's get this close. And don't know what happened there. Probably a cold top, to be fair. I don't know why I look at the grass like that was to blame. It was just a bad shot. So chipping on now. Ball lands pretty much where I want it to, but just runs away downhill towards the ocean. And we're left with an uphill putt for par that I miss. We'll backhand that one in for bogey. All right, the 18th, par three finish, 178 meters. It's always unique to finish on a par three on a golf course, I reckon. I mean, it's not my favorite thing to do. I do like a par four or par five to finish, but a bit unique just lose that one to the right the rescue club there I've hit 
So a bit of work to do to get this up and down. Bit of a flop shot here. Hit it very well. It was playing, uh, I think it was playing into the wind, which helped matters. And we finish off with a par. So there you have it. Jerangon Golf Club. Seven over for the day. Sunrise tee off. Great course. Uh, highly recommend coming here and playing it if you're in the area. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. As always, if you like the videos, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Till next time.